Yeah, by the way, this problem could be super crazy if you put all this weight on a, on a slope <laughs> because you're going to add a fraction of the gravity and all those uh, components to it. But the way it is, we can see two scenarios. So you can see it. Yeah, so for now, let me just talk about the scenarios. Scenario one is, scenario one is B moves to the right. Scenario two, B plus C move together to the right. So on the on the A, nothing would happen, right? Because A is attached to wall. It cannot move anyway. Based on our diagram, A will not move. So let's look, let's talk about scenario one. In scenario one, I have the B moving. So when the B moves like this, I apply the force P here. I'm gonna have two forces. One force from here to there, and one friction here, right? Because it's moving. You have one friction up there, one friction down here. I'm going to call the friction on the top FAB. I'm going to call the friction at the bottom FBC. Every friction comes with a normal force, right? And the normal force up up is always toward the object. So we come here, it comes NAB. At the bottom, call NBC. National Broadcasting Channel. What's it called NBC? Okay, so uh, we have we have NBC, we have NAB. You can see in this diagram we have a lot of things going on just for the block B. And then I forgot one more thing on the block B. You know what? The weight of the block B. And the weight of block B is 25 newton. So in the center for this one, I have. WB, which is 25 Newton. So this diagram is just for only block B. Okay, in, in block A, what I have? Again, we are, still we are talking in scenario one, right? This is block A. In block A, I have one cable connected to here. There's going to be a tension there. There's going to be reaction of NAB and FAB. So FAB going to the left here, when there FAB is going to go to right, I have NAB going to it, and I have the weight of uh, 50 Newton. That's the weight of this block. So this is block A, block B. I want to draw the, the diagram for block C. Okay, in this scenario, block C will not move, right? The reason that doesn't move, it has the friction. With uh, Again, I need to consider some stuff before I move on. So in this scenario, how many unknowns I have? I have, uh, I have like uh, two unknowns here, FAB, NAB, T. So three unknowns there with, two unknowns, with three unknowns here. I have six unknowns. I wouldn't be able to solve this problem unless I get more information on it, right? So, but the, the more information I have is that FAB, if I go to maximum friction, the friction between A and B is 0 0.3. So I can simply call FAB, remember that when you go to maximum friction, FAB will be equal to mu AB, NAB, right? And same thing happening to FBC. FBC will be equal to mu BC, NBC. So the friction between B and C, the friction between B and C is 0 0.4. So this is actually, this is 0 0.4. And the friction, the coefficient of friction between A and B is 0 0.3. This is 0 0.3. I have a good reduction in my own nodes, right? So FAB, I can put instead of this, I can put 0 0.3 NAB. Same thing here. For FBC, I can put equal to 0 0.4 NBC. 
So let me count the number of unknowns one more time. So if I count the number of unknowns, I have NBC1 unknown, NAB2 unknowns, right? P and T. Do you see more unknowns in this problem or no? Because I don't need to draw a diagram for C in scenario 1. Because if I add C, the C will not move. It doesn't add any values for me. So I have like 1 NAB, NBC, P and T. I have four unknowns. Remember, I have two diagrams. In each diagram, I have two equations. So I should be all set to go. So let's do scenario one equations on the block B. Okay, block B, sum of F of Y equal to zero. I have NBC minus NAB minus 25 is equal to zero. I have sum of f of x on it equal to 0. I got p minus 0 0.3 NAB minus 0 0.4 NBC equal to 0. I'm going to move on to the block A. In block A, again, same equation. Sum of f of y equal to 0. Sum of f of x equal to 0. On the y, I got NAB minus 50 equal to 0. In this equation, give me NAB is equal to 50. Then I have 0 0.3 NAB minus T is equal to 0. This doesn't add any information. The question did not ask me to find the T, right? I can just simply neglect this equation. So I have NAB. I'm going to move on here to this equation. So let's move on to this equation here. So on the top, so I have NBC because I, I afraid to touch the screen because I'm going to lose the share function. So from this scenario, you will, be, you will be getting NBC is equal to 50 plus 25, which will be Twenty-five is equal to seventy-five newton. So we have NBC. We can just come up to this equation, and this equation we're going to get P is equal to zero point three NAB plus zero point four NBC. So zero point three NAB was fifty plus zero point four into 75 is equal to 0 0.3 times 50 plus 0 0.4 times 75. I got 45. I got P is equal to, come on, 45 Newton. This is scenario one, right? I need to work on scenario 2 as well. So if I want to work on scenario 2, the scenario 2 would be uh, block A stay in place, block B and C moves together. So when block B and C moves together, they're going to be look like this. So this will be A stay up there like this. But block B and C, they move together. So you can see them as simply one force. When they move together, you can see them as one force, like as one block. Then I have the friction between up there. So here we have FAB. We have NAB going up there. We have NAB going down. And the friction Sorry, I should put the friction at the bottom, then friction on the top. That's my bad. And you notice that I'm putting them the opposite way, right? FAB is going this way. On the top, FAB is going the other way. So hopefully I did the same thing on the top as well, right? So FAB, by the way, is 0 0.3 NAB. And here FAB is... 
at the bottom we have two forces one we have FBC and then we have FBC perpendicular going up so that's actually NBC uh, I can actually start working on this problem the, the, so this is actually not BC this is called CD is between because B and C they move together they are simply the same block nothing is happening to them so this will be FCD and this will be NCD so the friction between C and D I just need to read that the friction between C and the ground is 0 0.35 so this will be 0 0.35 NCD so let me write the equation for the top one and then we can write the equation for the bottom one by the way I forgot the weight the weight for the A was 50 the B and C the weight for B and C I need to check it so B is 25 C is 15 so 25 plus 15 will be 40 I'm gonna put the weight of 40 Newton here remember this is WB plus C the weight of B and C together so on the top equation on the top diagram you're gonna get sum of f of y equal to 0 from here you're gonna get NAB is equal to 50 I'm gonna move on to the diagram below you don't need to get sum of f of x from there is doesn't have any value so I do here sum of f of y equal to 0 I'm gonna get NAB which is moving down minus 40 plus NCD equal to 0 from here NCD is equal to 90 Newton then sum of f of x equal to 0 from here I'm gonna get P minus 0 0.3 NAB come on minus zero point three NAB minus minus zero point three five N C D is equal to zero. So I can calculate the P from this scenario too. So P will be equal to zero point three NAB plus zero point three five N C D. So this is fifty and this is 90 the answer for this I got 460 46.5 Newton so the P in this scenario is 46.5 Newton the P for the top scenario was 45 Newton which one of them would happen scenario 1 or scenario 2 okay if I apply 45 block B move to the right for to move to the, I need to have 40.5 which one of exactly it has a lower once you get to 45 here you go. So scenario one will happen. Scenario one will happen because P is smaller. And that's it. So we finished this problem. Again, I told you if this problem was in a sort of uh, a slope there was no way to solve it. it becomes so much hard to do it 